Cool, I wanted to point out, uh, there's TypeScript does a really nice job, I think, of announcing their releases and explaining what's new about each release. Uh, they do not use Semver, semantic versioning, so each point release could have breaking changes. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, right now it's in beta. Uh, you can install it this way with the like at beta. Uh, one caveat is that if you use something like uh, Prettier or ESLint, those are not quite ready for some of the features here. They will catch up very soon. Uh, but if you use Satisfies right now, it will probably break Prettier and ESLint. Uh, just something to be aware of. So yeah, I definitely recommend going through and reading these uh, these blogs or announcements. Um, here is Storybook, if you haven't seen it before. It's like a, a sort of a, just a component workshop. Um, does some other things too, but it's not super important. The, the point here is I've got Spinner with some different, uh, different cases, like a success state and a different size. And the way this looks, drag this over and make it bigger. So the way this works, there's a default export here that connects up uh, you know, a, a component. In this case, it's my spinner. And then you know, uh, named exports here for like a default state, a large state. And you'll see there's, there's some squigglies here. Um, so I've given it this story type, and it's saying, oh, I need, to, I need to pass some args, some arguments. And then it's saying, oh, there's still, still something missing. If I scroll down here, it's, it's basically saying I need a state that's a required prop. Uh, I get some, you know, some, some of this, right? So this is great, I can, I can do that. Uh, there's also a way to add sort of for all of these a default argument of args up here, and this will apply to all of my stories. And you see now I'm not getting my drop down, it's not giving me my, my autocomplete, uh, because I haven't typed this. And the reason I haven't typed it is because I, I want the inference so that I can pass it down to this thing down here, and it can infer you know, what's, what's already being used up here so that it doesn't make it required down there, right? Because these this are like the defaults, and then you can override them at the bottom, uh, and, and you don't want to get an error down here if you've already specified it up here. So, so we see there's this args, you know, this is, this is erroring because there's no, there's no state, but now if I come up here, I can say state uh, spinning, and then, and then my error goes away down here because it says, okay, you don't need it anymore, you've, you've done it up here, that's, that's fine. But I don't get my, my autocomplete. But if I add in, take this back out again. If I add in our special satisfies type of uh, spinner. Now I can say state, oh, there's my state. And now I get my drop downs, right? So it gives me my autocomplete and it still lets me you know, uh, sort of infer what's being used up here and, and not, you know, error down below. So that's it. That's just a, a, a use case. It's going to be great. And uh, I'm, I'm excited for Babel and, and uh, ESLint to catch up so I can start using it. Anyway, cool. Do, do you know if you can, like, uh, can you say, can you use it recursively? Is there a purpose to using it recursively? Could you ever say like meta, type of meta? Or, I, I wonder if there's, what, could you just, what would happen if you put type of meta instead of type of spinner there? Like lowercase meta. Uh, like, like inside of it? Yeah. Uh, type of meta. It doesn't like that. Used before its declaration. Interesting. What if this is a var? Yes, Lint doesn't like it, but. But TypeScript's okay fine. with it. Yeah. Okay, I'm just, anyway. I, I don't know what that does. <laughs> I don't either, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's. Uh... Uh, does it, does, I bet it doesn't give me my drop down anymore. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't know what to do okay. with that. Okay. Thank cool. you for humoring my, yeah, 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 I mean, I guess because it's not a, it's not, it doesn't have props or yeah. whatever state. All okay, right. thank you.
Uh, earlier, you mentioned that some tools like Prettier have to catch up and like add support for this. Is it just a narrow range of tools, ones that need to an analyze using an AST? So Babel, ESLint, Prettier. Is there anything else that we you would have to worry about for this keyword? Uh, I guess like if you're writing code mods, right? In fact, I wanted to do that. I wanted to write a code mod that added this satisfies at the end of all of my uh, meta, and I got halfway through, and then I realized I don't really have any way to like tell it to create a satisfies type or like annotation or whatever for this. Um, so yeah, essentially, I think anything that's dealing with the the TypeScript AST like needs to be able to incorporate that into into itself. Makes so sense. like TypeScript ESLint is the like where that will come. I think there's a PR for that. The prettier one has a PR that's been merged into their like 3.0 branch. They're they're making a, a breaking change now for for prettier 3.0, and now they have to like backport that back. That was just a couple hours ago today. They merged that one, so it's it's happening. Uh, Babel's ready. Babel's the other one. If you're using Babel, um, it's it's in the latest Babel now. I think so. It's coming, and I think the release candidate is due soon. Right? That's. They have a, uh, the other thing you can look at here is a, is it today? Where is the, they usually have a list of like their plan for the, the month, right? I thought usually it was at the top here. I don't know. Usually there's a way to see like what's in the like iteration plan for, uh, for each, each version. And they, they sort of say what they're going to put in and like when the dates are gonna be. So it's, uh, yeah, hopefully soon. Thanks. Yep, cool. That's it for me.